to study with Malsha YouTube channel. So my dear kids, today we are going to learn about repetition structure flowcharts. All the repeating procedures comes under these repetition flowcharts. Let's consider the first example. Here we are going to find the total of any given numbers. So here I should note down the following facts before drawing my flowchart. First, I should know the total at the beginning of my flowchart. As it is the start, total will be 0. Second, I should find out how many numbers are there to add. In the example, they said that find the total of any given numbers. So here see, we cannot find out a proper number. So here we can use a variable as n. In my fourth programming video, I have taught you how to assign variables. For more information, I have mentioned it in my description box. As the third stage, you should find a proper formula to calculate the total of any given numbers. So here, I am using total equals total plus n. Let's start to draw our flowchart. As usual, I will start with my oval symbol to display at the beginning of the flowchart. Next, I will take a process box to display the total at the beginning. Now I need to get the numbers one by one. So, I can take this input box. Now, let's give the formula to find the total. Alright, now I need to check whether we have more numbers. So, I can use a decision box. So, like this, I will loop it with the arrow. And then, I will add yes and no. If I have more numbers, definitely I should add the arrow top of the input box. If it is no, you can output the total and end your flowchart like this. So my dear kids, I hope this part is very clear for you. So let's meet you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.